Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge Goodwill outlet thrift haul. It's also known as the Goodwill bins here in Houston. We do pay $2.49 per pound. This is going to show everything that I found yesterday slash last night. I got to the outlet at around 3.30 p.m. and I checked out at 7.16 p.m. So I was there for just under four hours. So that goes to show you one trip. I am there for multiple hours. It's very hot in there. I get hungry, I get tired. Usually I am on my last leg when I'm checking out. So yeah, it's definitely not for the week, but I was able to find so much stuff. I found 38.8 pounds total and I for everything I paid $104.59 that's after taxes and everything I was able to find 54 items to resell and so that comes out to $1.94 per item so that is a little bit higher than usual per item but I think I did have some heavier stuff in here so yeah let's go ahead and get into it I was having a pretty decent day I would say and then the very last rotation that I was there for, I was basically ready to leave. I was about to walk up to the checkout counter and then they announced the rotation. So I was like, okay, I'll just stay for one more even though I'm so tired. And I'm so glad that I did because one person very clearly made an amazing donation. It was one bin, one singular bin that was filled with over like 20-ish items that were just amazing. I have them here on top. I did keep them separated just to kind of show you an idea of, you know, what it looks like when someone makes a good donation kind of thing. The items all kind of have similar styles to them. And once you find one piece or two pieces, your spidey senses should tell you, okay, this is a good bin, someone made a donation, keep an eye out for everything that's within this style. And that's what I did. I turned over every single piece in that bin, found so much good stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Like I said, I am going to start off with what I found last. So this is the piece that clued me into, I need to look at everything in the bin. This is an Ula Johnson blouse. It's a sleeveless blouse with a, oh, what is that called? Swiss dot with a Swiss dot texture to it, a floral print, pin tuck detailing in the front and back. This is adorable. It's 100% cotton in a size four and it looks brand new, honestly, handmade in India. Second piece is this gray denim mini skirt by the brand Mother. That's their tag they have. And then the back pockets do have the M on them. This is the interior brand tag. It's white on white, so I'm not sure if it's going to come up. But either way, size 28. This is the Vagabond Mini Fray in the wash pedal to the metal. Next is Cotton Citizen. This is a definite bolo brand to keep an eye out for. This shacket retails for so much, a couple hundred dollars at least. I think this will sell for at least 75, possibly around 100 on Poshmark just because shackets are so in demand. And then when you take into consideration that this brand is super expensive, that just has everything in your favor basically. It's made in the USA. This brand I think is sold on Revolve, I wanna say, but yeah, really nice piece here. Can't wait to get this listed. Same with all of this stuff. Lululemon joggers. You guys should have seen me just, I was, I had my game face on going through this bin. I was looking at every piece, throwing stuff into my cart. <laughs> Uh, I had my blinders on. I didn't, it's like, you know, I was the only one in the store. I didn't see what anyone else was doing because I was so focused. That's the little logo. These are a little bit older, but that's totally fine. They have cargo pockets and they're a cropped length. They're really soft and comfy feeling. Did I say they're a size four? So I think these will still go for 35-ish, even though they are not super current. Next, we have Lauren Moshi. 
I used to absolutely love finding this brand. I think the buzz has kind of gone down on it, size small, but this was so lightweight. It should still sell for $25, $30. It's a face with sunglasses on, and then the lip does have a piercing, if you can see that. It's like metallic there, and this is in excellent condition. That was the other thing about all this stuff was it was flawless. A lot of higher end brands will use really like thin tissue materials. I'll show this. This is by T. Alexander Wang. And because the materials are so thin, they usually get tiny holes or flaws. And there was none of that with this stuff. It all looks brand new. So you can just imagine my excitement. This is just a long sleeve striped blouse top. I held it all up to my ring light and examined it. 86% rayon, 14% linen. So yeah, really lightweight and a nice piece there. More stripes. This is by Wilt. This brand is sometimes sold at Anthropology. Size small, made in the USA. Really cute little kind of t-shirt dress with an uneven hemline. The outer portion is 100% linen and then the lining is 100% cotton. So this is a really nice, breathable, natural, beachy dress. More stripes. This is another Bolo brand. These are all Bolo brands essentially. ATM, which stands for Anthony Thomas. I forget the last name, but you can Google it if you're curious. Another just kind of basic t-shirt. With this being in excellent condition, I think it'll sell probably 25 to 35. It probably retailed for like 150. There's a little ATM logo there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, it probably retailed for 150, but just because it's not super substantial, it probably won't go for too much. It's 100% cotton, but I still was not going to leave that behind. Derek Lamb 10 Crosby Denim size small. This blouse was probably $150, $200. It's a cream base with a textured red stripe to it. Very boho, very beachy. I will add in a ton of keywords to this. Again, it has zero flaws. 55% linen, 45% cotton. She also did seem to like cashmere, which we love that she liked cashmere. Uh, this is by the brand Cullen in a size medium large, and it is a super fine merino wool slash cat cashmere blend poncho sweater in a chocolate brown color with a turtleneck. Again, I held every inch of this up to my ring light, and it has no holes, no pilling. I mean... If anything was worn out of this stuff, it was definitely dry clean, but it honestly just all looks unworn. So I would love to know the story behind this. More cashmere. This is Talbot's. Oh, sorry. This is Garnet Hill, which Garnet Hill cashmere sells very well. This is definitely a reputable brand that people know and trust and love. Garnet Hill. Yeah, 100% cashmere, button-down, black, essential, little cardigan. And this was a newer piece. I want to say it was from, I believe it was from 2020. I don't know why I'm thinking that. Maybe that was a tag I saw on something else. But, yeah, everything for the most part was generally pretty new. This is by Autumn Cashmere. It's 100% pure cashmere in a size small with this fun graphic pop art pow. <laughs> On the front this is so cute I did look up comps for this and they were around I want to say like 75 to a hundred dollars so that was super exciting let me get a close-up of where you would normally find wear on a cashmere sweater to show you there is none you guys can just imagine my excitement current Elliot this brand doesn't always have the best resale value however People love their t-shirt dresses, so I think these should do well. This one is a red with a black stripe to it in a size 1, which I think is a small in current Elliott. This looks like a little bit of a newer tag. Also size 1, 
star printed t-shirt dress with distressed edges. Y'all, I really think this might be one of my best pins holes ever, possibly. I was really excited about it when I was going through my cart at the very end. Raquel Allegra, once again, an extreme bolo brand. Definitely want to keep your eye out for this in a size one. This is what the tag looks like. It's a very scribbly signature, but it does say Raquel Allegra. And this is a gorgeous piece. It's a fully tie-dye maxi dress in a really soft, comfy t-shirt material. So this is the kind of thing that's so versatile. Because it's just a t-shirt material, you can dress it down with like sneakers or flip-flops. But because of the style and maxi length, you could also definitely dress it up if you wanted to. Let me see what this is made of. It feels very, very nice. Please hand wash carefully. 50% cotton, 50% polyester, made in USA. So yeah, really nice dress there. I did find a second one, but this one does have pilling. This was the only piece out of everything. Actually, I take that back. There was one other piece that I'll show you next that had wear. These two items were the only ones that seem to have been worn. So yeah, this is also Raquel Allegra. Same kind of thing, t-shirt dress, tie-dye print. I will still list this one though. The pilling is not too bad. And I mean, with the retail price on this, it's definitely still worth the time to list it and just take a lower offer. I'll probably list it, I'm not sure. I need to look up comps, but her dresses can sell for over $100 on the secondhand market. And lastly, for this person's donations is this Inza Costa, which again is a Bolo brand dress. Also very soft and comfy shirt dress kind of style with a tie front, really cute. This one, once again, does have some pilling, but I'm still gonna list it. It's still a really nice, soft, comfy piece. I'm not seeing the material tag. So yeah, I was just ecstatic to find all of that. That does not happen often when you just kind of load up with one bin, but when it does happen, it's extremely exciting. Okay, so now we'll get into everything that I found just kind of randomly throughout the day. Zara woman little mini skirt in a size large. I just thought this was adorable with the large buckle and pleat detailing. It kind of has a paper bag waist look to it. A heavily embroidered sleeveless dress. This tag makes me think this dress, you know, is like just kind of a boutique kind of thing, size small. But with this heavy embroidery, I was not going to leave it. It's actually really nice quality. And you guys know I love this mustard color. Little tassel details, looks brand new. So yeah, happy to find this, especially for this time of year. In contrast, this piece is maybe not the best for summertime, but I think it should still sell well quickly because it does have so much going for it. It's just BP, which is Nordstrom's in-house junior brand. However, it's a size 3X. It's leopard printed, long line. It's a cardigan. You guys know cardigans are my best selling category. And it is also new attacks. It retailed at $69. So yeah, I definitely had to grab this leopard printed cardigan specifically. I've sold so many of them in the past. So I think this will go probably 30, 35 ish. Oh, this was my favorite find of the day. I'm pretty sure it's Johnny was for love and Liberty in a size extra large. It's a hundred percent silk embroidered blouse. This is the prettiest blouse I have seen in a long time. Anytime I find, I, so I saw the tag first and then I felt it and I could feel that it was silk. And so I just immediately braced myself to be disappointed because 
100% silk items usually have flaws, either holes or runs. However, this blouse is somehow flawless. So you have this beautiful embroidery. It's like a, is that needlepoint? I can never remember. I'm pretty sure that's needlepoint, if it's needlepoint or cross stitch. And then it continues at the bottom hem. So yeah, I will add prairie, boho, cottage core. And with it being an extra large, I mean, this is just, I'm gonna list this for probably $125 just because it's flawless and gorgeous. And you know, Johnny was, the demand is so high for that brand. Okay, next, this tag really meant nothing to me. Catwalk Studio, well, the fact that it's made in Italy did mean a little bit, but I just love the style of this as well as the material. Very lagging look, very boho, very just kind of like artsy, hippie, that kind of thing. Raw seams, very interesting kind of texture to it, like a gauzy, lightweight, earthy texture. And this is definitely a larger size. It does not have a size, so I'll have to measure it, but I could see this fitting like extra large to one X. It's 50% cotton, 50% linen, made in Italy. Gorgeous piece. I found two pairs of torrid black jeans. This one is a size 20 regular. It's the bombshell skinny. This is a classic pair of black skinny jeans from torrid. Not too much to say about these from 2018. If there's no stretching or pulling on Torrid jeans, I usually will get them. They do tend to be, they do, Torrid jeans do tend to have stretch to them. And so that is a common problem, but if there's no flaws or issues, I almost always get them and they do sell very well. Also size 20, these are boyfriend jeans. And these actually have fishnet inserts, which is so cool. I need to wash them. They have this one line on them, but yeah, fishnet inserts. And so like when you're wearing them, it looks like you have fishnet tights on under the jeans, which is such a cool touch. So because of that, I will probably add in keywords like punk, rocker, gothic. I am actually noticing some wear now that I'm holding these up, but I'll probably still list them, just disclose that and list them a little bit lower, maybe at like 20. Okay, moving on. This was kind of a surprise to me, Kate Quinn, which is a children's brand. It's a higher end children's brand. I didn't know that they made women's clothing. This is definitely a women's sized top. It's new and tags, extra small, 100% organic linen and I loved the cut as well as the print. So I did go ahead and get this. This will definitely be an experimental piece just because, I mean, I've never sold children's clothing from this brand. So we will have to see how the women's stuff does, but yeah, I just thought that was so cute. And with the material, I had to go ahead and grab that. So this daily practice is, sold through Anthropology. It's like their house at leisure brand slash line. Is that showing up? It says daily practice in a size small. This is the softest feeling sweater ever. It has that eyelash texture to it. Printed. Is that a floral print? Yeah. It's like an abstract floral kind of print. I love the teal base to it and then it has an open back with a tie so I think that's kind of what makes it athleisure is you could wear like a sports bra under this but yeah this is adorable I like the drop shoulder it makes it a little more casual speaking of adorable brace yourselves so this is the brand Christine Foley I was looking up comps on these and or this brand and comps looked really good I think it's like kind of a vintagey brand that makes a lot of novelty printed sweaters that are really high quality, like thick knits, thick cottons. Yeah, 100% cotton. And comps were great. So 
I'm so excited for this. I think it is a kid's piece. It says size 7, 8, and the sleeves are short, so I will list it as children's. But, I mean, I was not going to leave this behind with all of these horses. And then the buttons are horseshoes. So, yeah, I could not get over this. Even with this being kids, it'll probably still sell for, I would guess, like, 35 to 45-ish. Super high quality. So I'll put equestrian, western, rodeo, novelty as keywords. Eileen Fisher, size extra large, plum colored, pull on pants with a elastic waist and drawstring and then kind of a paper bag look waist. They have a tapered leg, just kind of a closet staple here. Probably 30, 35 ish on those. Tahari, you guys know I love picking this brand up in nice materials, and this is 100% linen size large. It's a horizontal and vertical striped blouse, so the stripes switch at the bottom hem, which is kind of cute. Boxy, minimalist, contemporary, lag and look, boho, beachy, coastal grandma. Everything's going in that listing. More nice materials. This is Talbot's Petite Pure Merino Wool. This one was what I was confusing with the Garnet Hill cardigan. I remember seeing on this one that it was newer. Yeah, from April 2020. So yeah, leopard printed v-neck essential sweater with a slight balloon sleeve to it in 100% merino wool. This is so soft. Again, I did hold this up to my ring light to look for small holes and it really looks brand new. Good American Jeans. This is Khloe Kardashian's denim brand, size 829. This really had a huge following at the very beginning. I'm not sure nowadays how it's selling, but I'm sure well still because I think some people have found this brand and it works really well for them and so this is like the only kind of jeans that they'll wear now and these look like they are a very trendy cut and style so that's really good let's see yeah they just have a style number I think actually I remember I did look them up and they're called the good vintage with like distressing the back pocket has distressing as well these were in great shape so yeah, I was just beside myself <laughs> at the bins yesterday, shopping. Tula Rosa, size extra small. This is yet another Bolo brand. It does retail for quite a bit. Uh, this is made in India. This is gorgeous. Kind of like I was saying with the Silk for Love and Liberty blouse. I pulled this out of the bin and I again braced myself. Where's the stain? Where's the hole? Where's the flaw? But this thing, it actually was inside out when I found it. So I think that kind of protected it a little bit. This is all embroidered and beaded as well as the bottom hem. Let me get a full close up on this. I mean, this is just gorgeous. It's heavy. It's, I mean, you can just tell this is amazing quality. The body is a gauzy cotton overlay. It is lined. And then there's two sets of tassels at the neckline. So, yeah, I'm sure this will go, with it being flawless, maybe around $50. I'm sure it retailed for close to $200. More embroidery. I have sold this brand several times. It's kind of like a Johnny Was dupe, Andre by unit in a size medium large, but I mean, I was not going to leave this behind. It's a velvet kimono cardigan with heavy embroidery down the front. Again, in excellent condition. I think what it was, was they were just putting out a lot of raw donations yesterday, meaning that someone drove up, dropped their stuff off and left, and then they just took that stuff and dumped it into the bins versus like sifting through it, taking out the good stuff, 
that kind of thing, or versus taking items that have been sitting in the Goodwill stores and putting those in the bins. They were instead taking raw donations and dumping them in because I think I just found maybe like three or four people's really good donations and I just stocked up on them. So, you know, timing is everything. If I hadn't been there when those people donated their stuff, I would have lost out on it. And so, yeah, it just goes to show you that the more frequently you're at the bins, the more your chances increase of stumbling into someone's good donations kind of thing. It's all timing. Next we have ASTR, which is a pretty expensive, trendy kind of brand. It's like a, I would say it's like a Revolve kind of brand, but I don't think it's actually sold on Revolve. They have their own website, but yeah, this is so cute. It's a pair of pleated shorts with a tie waist. I think I have the tie. Okay, hold on. I was showing you the back. So yeah, this is the front with the little tie and the pleating. And then the back, you have the wide belt and back. And they zip on the side. They are lined. These are so cute. I want to say... Yeah, they're a linen blend, 80% lyocell, 20% linen, and then they are lined. So these are adorable. They're kind of like boho, but also kind of contemporary. Next, we have a men's piece, which I was unfamiliar with this brand, Valabasis, Valabasis. I immediately was drawn to it because of the print, this patchwork bandana print, which is so cool. Uh, it's like different color blues and this was in great shape. It's lined, it buttons down in front, it's a size large. So yeah, I will list this over in my men's closet. I have to run comps on it. I think this probably retailed for a couple hundred dollars from the very fast research I did on it at the bins. St. John Caviar black trouser pants. So the Best selling category within St. John is definitely their Santana knit stuff, which these are not. However, I still wanted to get them because St. John, the brand retails for so much. These probably still retailed for around $500. They were also a size 14 and they were in excellent condition. So yeah, I think that they should still sell well for at least $35, possibly $40. If they had been any smaller than a size 14, I might have left them, but with everything going for them, I did want to grab them. Okay, moving on, we have one of my absolute favorite summer, spring, summer brands to find, Flax in a size small. It's a 100% linen button front jacket, cardigan piece, lightweight jacket, great for layering. This kind of stuff is so nice in the summertime when you need more coverage or you need to be a little bit more formal, but you don't want to sweat to death because this is 100% linen, it's breathable. More Zara. I have not looked this piece up yet, but I could see this being a blogger favorite, meaning that bloggers have taken really cute Pinteresty pictures wearing the skirt. It was in a size extra large, which I was super excited about. And this chocolate brown color has been so popular ever since the Kardashians have kind of made it a thing. I guess Kanye West, Kardashian kind of vibe have made brown the chocolate color brown just super trendy. Pleated accordion midi length skirt. So yeah, I could see that selling maybe like 35 to 40-ish depending on, you know, if it is a blogger's favorite. Ralph Lauren, another men's piece. This is the classic fit, untucked, size large, button-down shirt in a seersucker material with these really vibrant tropical flowers. And it does have the little logo here. So yeah, I thought this would be so nice for going on vacation or like a beach wedding. So I will add a lot of keywords into this. If if we were in winter time, I probably would have left this just because it is such a specific piece, the style of it. But I think that could help it sell better. 
some people really like those in your face graphic prints. A new tags J Jill size extra large cardigan. So you really cannot get more sellable than this. Uh, in the color mineral, this retailed at $79. It's a really nice light green color, open front, longer length. Really pretty. I want to say this was a linen blend. Yes, cotton, acrylic, and linen. So probably 35, maybe 40-ish on that. Made well in a size large. These are kind of my bread and butter sweaters and cardigans in their coziest yarn material. This is a fun striped print. I was happy to see it in a size large. I usually find these in like extra small or small. And they're just so soft and cozy. 30% merino wool, 10% alpaca. So yeah, it almost feels like a cashmere. Every time I'm in the bin and I feel that specific material, I immediately, my alarm bells go, go off and I say, there's a Madewell coziest yarn piece. <laughs> okay, next we have Adriana Papel. I don't really ever pick up this brand, mainly because it's usually like a really heavy piece, which this one is pretty heavy. Um, but also they usually have wear, they were dresses that were worn to formal events, worn for several hours at a time. And you know, when that happens, you usually get a lot of wear on the item. But this one was in great shape and I loved the cut to it. Let me turn my ring light up just a little bit. So yeah, it's a black dress and it's, it's just a shift dress through the body, but then the sleeves are that cape design. And I was instantly more attracted to this because this is the style of wedding dress that Hilary Duff wore at her wedding. Take a moment for our queen, Hilary Duff. She's like my favorite celebrity of all time, forever. And so because of that, I had to get this dress. If Hilary Duff likes this style of dress, then I like it. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a cape sleeve kind of thing. So your arm is just kind of hanging out here and then in back the cape continues. So yeah, and it's a really nice like uh, crepe material that's just kind of skims over the body. This is a size four and like I said, that was in really nice condition. Anytime that I am trying to determine if a formal dress has been worn a lot or like I was saying if it's if it were was worn for several hours at an event I always immediately look at this underarm area to look for deodorant or just signs of wear kind of thing and that was in great shape we have a kimono piece which you guys know I love these are my bread and butter I swear kimonos pay my bills every month because they sell so consistently this one is a tie-dye printed long line piece. Is it? Yeah, it's high-low. What is this? Is this the front hem? Yes, so it's high-low with a frayed trim at the bottom, very lightweight material, and this is newer tag American Eagle. So this should go 25, 28-ish, I would say really cool piece there. So I'll, I will add beachy, festival, boho, summer, etc. Another great find. This is a solid piece. I love when I find a piece and I think to myself that 100% is going to sell and it's going to sell quickly just because it has so much going for it. So this is Soft Surroundings, which is one of my absolute favorite brands to find in a size 1X. It's this really popular gauzy cotton muslin material and it is a button down shirt dress. So everything that I just mentioned makes it sellable. Has a little ruffle at the collar which is really pretty and feminine. Has pockets. So yeah, we love this. Mother of Pearl Buttons, which you guys know is one of my favorite touches on a piece. So, and yeah, really no signs of wear. This stuff shows wear so easily, especially where the fabric would rub together like under the arms and it's in 
great condition. Okay, last couple pieces in our first bag. More Zara, more chocolate brown. These are actually new with tags, trouser pants in a size large. They're retailed at $46. Really soft and stretchy material with a split at the bottom hem and a slight flare. So these are very trendy while also still being classic, like a wardrobe staple. So I think these should do really well. I'm curious as to what year they are from, but I don't think Zara puts their years on their items. Another great piece, this is Figs. It's a scrubs brand, like medical scrubs, that in very high demand. New with tags, size extra small, the Raffaella scrub top. In a maroon color, so yeah, this should fly out of my closet being new with tags. For probably, I would say 30, maybe 35-ish. Great piece there. So this, this I was excited to find. Um, but it did cause me a little bit of trouble. So I first found just the dress in the bin. It was kind of splayed out and I thought it was a bed sheet. I've been mis mistaking a lot of clothing items for bed sheets recently for whatever reason. But in my defense, this does have a ton of fabric to it. So it's Banana Republic size extra, extra large. A khaki button down shirt dress. It is... Like, I think it goes to the floor, I want to say. I'll have to look up stock photos. But I could just tell that this was a newer piece just by the material. It's called the Long Sleeve Waisted Pop. They abbreviate their style name, so I'm not sure what pop is short for. Popover? Poplin, maybe? Poplin dress? Anyways, it's from spring of 2023. That is this year. So, I was not going to leave this with it being current. However, it was missing its belt when I found it. And so I spent the next, I would say 12 minutes searching through bins, which wasn't a waste of time if I didn't find the belt because I did find other items by searching so heavily for this belt. However, I did end up finding it. So I was so excited and I think this should do so well. Like I was saying, shirt dresses, sell incredible for me this is a current piece it's a great neutral material it's cotton it's nice it's extra extra large it's flawless so yeah could not have been more excited for that i did find one bra it's from soma the vanishing 360 wireless bra in a size 36b just a Classic, really nice, soft bra. There's no underwire to this, so it feels really comfortable. And one kid's piece, uh, Baby Gap. I just couldn't leave this. It's 12 to 18 months. I think it's new without tags. It still has this little tag thing. Um, but how adorable is this? It's a novelty tree print with little owls in there you can see the tiny little owls and the skirt portion is super voluminous i wonder if it has like tulle i don't know how it's so voluminous because it just has a cotton lining but i mean this is just precious so i'll get that listed another poncho kimono kind of piece this is so soft and i really like the cut to this so it's a plaid poncho and it's belted. There's a belt that is looped through the sides. So you can tie it, fringe trim, and it's new with tags, one size. Looks like it was sold on belk.com. The brand is Wonderly. It doesn't have a price tag on it, but I will probably list this at like 30 or 35-ish just because it definitely is a little bit more of a substantial poncho kind of thing or kimono and it is new with tags. I picked this up because I wanted to add a lot of keywords into it, like 90s, Y2K, grunge. It's an oversized floral printed maxi dress. And I will pick up pretty much all vintage 90s, Y2K floral printed maxi dresses if they have that certain look to them. I can't really put it into words what it is but it's just something about them that makes them trendy and grunge. I guess I could kind of say 
the best way I know how to say it is if it looks like it could possibly be sold currently at Urban Outfitters <laughs> kind of thing, which I could see this. So yeah, anyways, I just thought this was really cool. I will add a lot of keywords into that and it should sell pretty quickly. Uniqlo, size medium. This is a down filled puffer jacket in a cream color. Uh, same kind of thing. I braced myself for flaws on this, stains or, you know, little rips where the filling was coming out. But this is like brand new. I looked over every inch of it. Whenever I'm looking at jackets, I immediately look at the wrist cuffs. I open up the wrist cuffs to see if there's any type of discoloration or pilling. And this had none of that. So that's a good indicator. I also look at the inside collar, once again, to look for any type of discoloration. And this was going strong. And it is, like I said, down filled. And this kind of thing is so lightweight, it's great because, you know, it's really high quality materials, but it weighs almost nothing. Yeah, filling minimum 90% down. So I'll probably list this at 40, maybe 50. I need to see what it retails for. I'm not quite sure. Our last two pieces of this huge haul, Masuk, which, what is the tag? I think the tag normally says exclusively Masuk or the tag normally does not look like this. I'm not sure. But yeah, this is the brand Masuk. It's a size large and it's a knit teal long line sweater top with an interesting kind of like embossed texture to it in really good shape. This will probably go, I would say $35, $40. And our very last piece for the day is a pair of Zara Woman trouser pants in a size large. They have a high rise cut and then a full wide leg. So closet staple, office, career wear, minimalist, contemporary. So yeah, love these. And that is absolutely everything. Look at my huge pile here. <laughs> That's absolutely everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.